Mark Olga. I've got some questions for you, Mr. Mark. Now, you have been here for a little while, but I've been watching you. You're a little bit of a losing streak, wouldn't you think? So do you think your losing streak might have something to do with your wife, MJ Aurora, with the Left Coast Casanovas? Check us out at promotions at DOAProWrestling.com or 503-960-7848 for more information. And be sure to let them know that the broadcast team sent you. I don't even think I heard you take a breath. Here we go, Hellbilly! Oh, clothesline by Patrick Large! You may think he's on a losing streak, but that right there was a winning clothesline. You never know. I may have just put a fire on you, Patrick Large. That may have been my motive the entire yeah, time. Well, I don't know. I, I've seen some of your motives. I'm not impressed with them sometimes. Sometimes. You should be impressed with me all the time, bro. Well, around. that may very well be. I, I admire your in-ring skills, but I have to push in your investigative journalism tonight. I just, you know. Here we go. As Hellbilly sets him up, looks to me like a suplex upcoming, and it is. No! no. Stopped by Patrick Large and throws the elbow. Fists of fire. Here we go. Big forearms by Pat Large. Fires him off, though. Reversed by Hellbilly. Nothing. Patrick well, you're not going to knock that guy down that easily. No, Pat Lark was a buck 80. And uh, 268 or thereabouts last I got from Hillbilly. And oh my, this is not good news. All the way, Slam takes him down. And Hillbilly has himself a, the first glimmer of hope in this matchup, I would say. It's all been Patrick Lark thus far. And maybe that lighted fire was what did it, you know, for the first couple of minutes. What, what do you think here? Where do you think Hillbilly got that uh, that bowling shirt? Do you think he got that on sale at Hot Topic? Was he playing there just a second ago? What on earth was that? I don't, I don't know. That was weird. He's probably playing to Hot Topic God. I mean, you never I, I, you know. I, I don't see him as a sponsor, so I'm, I'm not going to go there. Speaking of which, you know it's my turn to mention some of the great sponsors. TNT Dragon Wagon Towing in Trunkdale. If your car is a dragon, call the wagon at 503-465-8021. And Yazzie Farm Grill in Wood Village, 503-674-3838. All the great treats and eats there. And reminder that we have Big Guys Limousine bringing all the superstars of DOA Pro Wrestling to the action. Give them a call, 503-408-7246. And Patrick Large, you! Kick to the face. Takes him out. Oh, here we go. Oh, only a two there. As Patrick Large thought he had him, but not enough. Here we go now. A little bit of fist of fury there by Hellbilly. Sends him off. Patrick Large. Down he goes. Though. Sunset flip upcoming. Hellbilly 
can't stop it. He's got one, two, no. Grabs the, the ropes. ropes. You know, maybe I'm thinking maybe uh, maybe our, our friend Hillbilly got his uh, got that shirt from uh, Screaming Tees, Custom Apparel, and Vinyl Decals. Ladies and gentlemen, Screaming-Tees.com or 503-871-7360 at Screaming Tees, Custom Apparel, and Vinyl Decals. And of course, yeah, Head and Sunplay Cafe is our major ticket outlet. You'll find them in the St. John's area on Lombard in North Portland, right before you get to the St. John's Bridge. They're open all sorts of great hours of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I know I've eaten there several times. Great food there, Patty. Oh, my Patrick Large takes down Hillbilly, and the action is now still up to the floor. Hillbilly was trying to get in the ring. Well, Hillbilly's going to find himself back in the ring, courtesy of here, as Patrick Large throws him in, our referee there. Boy, I'll tell you, he's got his hands full right now. Oh, Patrick Large with the crucifix. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was like a crucifix into the parachute drop, took him down there. And Hillbilly right now has been catching a lot of what Patrick Large has been pitching. <laughs> I don't know, Bulldog. Five minutes gone by, five minutes. I'm not sure how you want me to take that, but you're, yeah, you're kind of right. But now the forearms, though. Here we go, Hillbilly trying to get a couple in. Patrick Large, though. Oh, oh he is bombs away, leg drop, takes him down. And Large is looking for an upstairs ride. If he catches him, he's done. I'd say after all the beating that Hillbilly's taken thus far, Large is looking for more. Bombs away, but misses on the final leg drop. Wait a second. Now, wait a minute here. What's all this nonsense going on here? Now, we already had people getting involved in other matches. What's going on here? Jason Sullivan and Cole Bishop out here. Cole Bishop is not even scheduled to wrestle tonight. I don't have him listed on the card tonight. What is Sullivan doing? Oh, Sullivan's taking oh, on close lines, Hellbilly. Bishop gets all to Patrick Large. This is going to be bad news for Patrick Large. Oh, my. Well, somebody's got to break this up because this just can't continue. Patrick Large taking an enormous pounding there from Cole Bishop. And oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh. We may need medical attention there from Patrick Large. Just got totally smacked there. Well, wait a second. Here comes Dr. Cleaver. And, and Exile. And Exile. Wait a second. Here we go. Well, wait a minute here. Cleaver sends off Sullivan, a big man on his own right. Sullivan drops out and gets down. Wow. I've never seen Sullivan move that fast. Well, right now, Bishop, there was sweet, sir. I gotta ask you. Cleaver and Exile have a tag match later on tonight. Sullivan needs a partner. Could it be? Could be. Well, the stare down right now between Bad Company, and that's Cleaver and Exile, and Sullivan and Bishop, and Sweetser as well, representing the elite. I'll tell you right now, this could be a match in the making. We're not even going to wait. It looks like they're going to get in there and start things right now. It looks as if they are. There's a whole lot of uh, mammoth men in there right now. Well, you can see from over Terry Farnes looking out on this matchup. This could be the matchup that we've been waiting for. Sullivan still didn't make an announcement as to his mystery tag team partner. I don't know, but I'm looking at Bishop and I'm thinking it just could be. You shot me, fat We'll be back with more DOA Pro Wrestling from the Universal Park Community Center. Stick around.
I'm Aaron Bolo, and I'm from Seoul, South Korea. So everybody always asks, uh, who is Aaron Bolo? What, what makes him different than anybody else? I just want to go out there and entertain the fans, and put on the show, and like anything they've ever seen before. When Aaron Bolo goes in the ring, when I go in there, I, I always want to do something different. Something, something special, if you will. I'm the type of person that I'm never content with kind of floating along and just staying along the same level. I'm always thinking about what's next. What's the next step in my career? Now, ultimately, I want to go down as one of the greatest professional wrestlers this business has ever seen. I don't want anybody to forget my name for hundreds, thousands, hell, millions of years.
right now is the one that's succeeding. I tell you, that's a beautiful belt, too. That pro wrestling belt is beautiful. Well, it's what Bolo wanted. He's, and, you know, the thing is that DOA spared no expense on getting these. When they put up that challenge, the winner of that matchup was going to get the decision of what belt it would be called. And Aaron Bolo wins that one. And, 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 and there is no more pure of a wrestler, I have to say, than Aaron Bolo. And the thing is, is that if it's not pure wrestling, it's not anything. It is the DOA Pure Wrestling Champion. It is Aaron Bolo. It is Michael Santiago coming to you from Bad Company tonight here at the University of What a show so far. I'm still going to complain about that whipping match coming up. I'll tell you right now that you just better steer clear. Maybe you want to stay away from the building. That promoter, Terry, is always the person that Bubba hit me. I mean, I mean, Jeremy hit me one night, and the next night he hits me again, and the promoter don't do anything. And now he's put me in a whipping match. Well, I'll tell you right now, it's your own fault for getting involved. That's I didn't do anything. I brought my, I have, Take a look right now, there. single leg crab there by Santiago. Bolo able to escape to the ropes. You have to break this ball map. The greatest thing about this is non-stop action DOA pro wrestling style. And take a look right now. As he's digging in that ankle lock right there. That could be a submission map right there. Well, you know, that's your wrestling map. That's allowed. And DOA Pro would like to remind you that there is action coming all over the place. Will it minor action? Will it Eugene? I'll be in Will it minor. Eugene, there's going to be some, some action. I'll be in Eugene. Back here at the University Park Community Center for a whipping match. No, I won't be here. I told him you, you could do that now. You're on the contract, right? No, I didn't sign FYI, nothing. Check out DOAProWrestling.com on our Facebook page and call the Northwest Connection because it's going to be action. Oh, well, next night. Week, next, oh. next week in Willa Minor, I'm going to make Bobby's yeah. life miserable and Terry's because they, they do to me all the time. You probably deserve it. I don't deserve it. But regardless of all that, I'll tell you right now, if the action gets any hotter in DOA Pro Wrestling and the Northwest Connection at Portland Wrestling, I guarantee you, you're going to have to be wrestling like these guys are. Sure. No, no, no. I don't. I think I should not. I do that. I'm blind to everybody. I'm, I'm honest about that. Let me tell you though, if you're watching DOA Pro Wrestling, you're watching Portland Wrestling, you're watching the Northwest Connection, you are watching the best wrestling in the Pacific Northwest bar none. Let me remind you about that Prince uh, nickname, it's PWD, Casey Whiteboard. Shut up. Right Shut up. As we go in right now, San Diego, look at this though. Oh man, he's got those legs all this straight by right here. Right here. It is a submission. He's got the legs all great bind in there. You want to know why we lost that baby tree versus the city? Because we got two kids in one day. Yeah, take a look at that wonderful piece of uh, metal you've got right there. This is for my bike. You don't, you're not in shape to ride a bike. Give me that. Nonsense. That's what I'm riding a bike for, to get in shape. Well, you're going to have to be in shape when it comes up on May 15 at Battle of the Belts. I guarantee you, you're going to be in some sorry shape then. I guarantee it. I will go to Kevin Brand. I have seen that three wheel bike you ride. Yes. It's got, a, it's got a little bump, basket on the front and a horn and everything. Yeah. I have to. I have to. Last man. I saw it had like a Daffy Duck on it or something like that. Oh, shut up. So, what was that problem? Fairly odd here. Uh, all right now, San Diego. Gets I'm being blocked off by, by a barn Bolo. door all of a sudden. I can't see anything. Here we go. San Diego picked up. Oh, sunset flip. Here we go. No. He's going for. Oh, he's going for a sharpshooter. Bobby's grabbing it. This is a beautiful belt. I'm telling you, this is a beautiful belt. And Bobby shouldn't be touching it because he hasn't done anything pure his whole life. Five minutes gone by, five minutes. San Diego, though, was too close to the ropes right there. What does he think he did? He's the champion now? This is yeah, well, I'll tell you right now, Bobby better put that belt down. He's definitely going to be much pure wrestling. I say he's never pure his whole life. <laughs> Oh, Roll up there by Bolo, almost got it, but only a two count. San Diego, though, has got to find a way to win this matchup. If he doesn't, oh. he doesn't get a return matchup for that belt for six months. Do you know how long six months is without a championship match? No. Same thing with that East 16. Let me tell you something, that leg's hurting Bolo. I try it with those kicks. Oh, oh. those yeah, kicks are usually pretty you know, devastating. Yes, they are. And for San Diego right now and Bolo, both of them taking it to the extreme. It is a great match 
your, your pure wrestling action between Michael Santiago and your pure wrestling champion, that is Aaron Bolo. But Bolo right now. Bolo's knee and his legs hurt. I tell you. You notice that dude shot his kick on his strong because he's having, he's having to favor that leg. Ooh. Well, Santiago doesn't look like he has any forearm problems. No. That's something you don't want to miss with with Bolo's the forearm shots. Bolo hits, oh, he kicked him. He kicked him, but he's still, I know, but he's still hurt. He fucked it on that left leg. He looked like he was down. Oh. One leg drop kick. Chop by Bolo. Double chop by Bolo. Oh, clothesline. Bolo is picking it up now. And I tell you, for Santiago, you better oh. go downstairs in the I look like that was too far downstairs. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's just pure wrestling. That was cheating. That was in the bed basket. It's legal. Speaking of bread, when was the last time you ate? Earlier today. Why? I just wanted to. I just wanted to. You gotta get that app going. Here we go. Bolo right now sends on Santiago. Stop. Bolo's on there. The ball hooks him up in the arms. He knows. Oh man, Luke! I tell you right now, for Bronco, I don't know. Bronco gum that just, I don't know. That, that looked like it was awfully close. Awfully close. Bolo right now still feeling the effects of that leg. Santiago gets out of that. Bolo. Take a look right now, Bolo. Oh! oh. He's he's one. One, two, oh. oh! That was on the six months of that title shot. Oh my goodness. I tell you and right G-Shock, now. And G-Shock, you know that's a long time for a, a wrestler who wants to be the top. Oh, you don't, you don't, you don't waste any time going to top. It, you take the quickest route possible. I tell you, that shoulder was so close to me. It was like having one of your hairs in between the back. I have no hair. Just like your toupee, whatever. Here we go. Bolo sends Santiago in the buckle. Sets him up. It could be all over. Here we go. Oh! Hey, this is a big match for Santiago. It's not going to be that easy for him. Bolo's not going to have an easy time. Roll up by Bolo. Has it run? He has his tights. He had his tights. Oh, he just gets punched by Santiago. Oh! And he did have his tights last time. Don't tell me he did. Yes, there was. The match. Well, you weren't watching that part of the match because there was no tights being held by anybody. That was a vicious throw by Santiago. Take a look at that left leg there. Bolo just completely red right now. That cradle. Oh. Well, a lot of moves are going to finish this match. Oh, he's hurt. Bolo. That leg for Bolo's hurting, I'm telling you. Oh! oh man, that's it. Driver. Oh! Wow. There's no way! How the oh, hell did he kick out of that? Bolo kicks out of the, of the roaring elbow. Bolo kicks out of the Nishinoku Driver. I don't, I don't have an answer a, for that. This is an unbelievable match. You see how much better the matches are? You know there's a belt in the line here, and you can't have a belt for six months? Oh, you step up your game a lot. Santiago Bolo, right now taking off. Being, look at this though, taking it off for a long time though. Santiago does not go to the top. No, everybody's you know, Ten minutes gone by. Ten Bolo's minutes. got that big bullseye on his back and just And right there, Santiago may have just seen his chances of getting a shot at that belt slip out the window right there. With that move by Bolo in the buckle in the corner. Right now Bolo sizing up the action here, calling for it to be over. And he could very well be with this superplex. It looks like it's not coming. Be it. You're right, Bulldog. Oh, Santiago blocked it. He's trying. He's holding on. He's got that leg curled under that top rope. Puts oh. his leg off. But Bolo's leg couldn't support up there. Drop oh. kick on Santiago. How did he do that with that sore leg? He only used the one, but you can see the bruises all over them right now. Man. All over and back up again. He's gonna try it again. What is Bolo doing? T-bone. Oh, that was a That's top rope Korean drop. That's gotta be it. <laughs> My God, that was a T-bone suplex on the top rope. I've never seen anything like that. That's gotta be it. Santiago has to get the rope. Oh, oh. this is unbelievable. 
This is, it's just, it's gotta be just the adrenaline. It can't be anything else. You know, both of them are on fumes right now. I think it's the best way to describe them. There is no way that these guys, how for power to continue doing that and you know something? This isn't even the main event. This is the main event anywhere else you go. Absolutely. All the time games, you want to give up? Give up, he says. Come on now. No, no, no. I don't want a belt in the line. I don't know anybody. Oh, ah, see? Oh, he's oh, he got dirty bird in there. Right his, there. his legs hurt. You will not see a better matchup anywhere in the Northwest on any car. No, this is unbelievable. Two shots right. There's, other, there's others around trying to do it, but they're not doing it. Oh! Lance on those babies! Oh! Rolls it up. Michael Santiago! What a, what a match. Wait a minute, G-Shock has an announcement to make. Well, I'll tell you right now, before he does that, <laughs> Santiago has his shot in that belt. Unbelievable, back and forth, both men. Speaking of belts, I will not be here the 15th. Uh, I guess you will. I will not. Not, I have it the Mike You fought one hell of a match. In my opinion, yeah, that yeah. could have been match of the year anywhere. Yeah. 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 Now, you're, you are the number one contender. However, it's not next month. What? No. Yeah, what? Terry Farnes and Boss Becker already had a match signed for next month. Aaron Boa, uh, I completely agree. Don't don't shoot the messenger. I'm just letting you and all these people know. Next month, Aaron Boa has a one-on-one -on -one match for the Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Title versus Scotty Matt. The ECCW Champion for Canada. They signed the match, huh? you, you got to... Who has Scotty Mack beat? Yeah. Who? Scotty Mack hasn't been here in what? Five, six, seven, eight years? And you people are gonna give him a title shot over me? After I clearly beat Aaron Ball and proved that I am not the sidekick of the international bloodline. You know, I'm not denying that Santiago deserves a shot. By hook or by crook, I am taking the belt from Aaron Polo. Believe it. Yeah. We do have that match, but it will be the June show. Whether it be Aaron Polo or Scotty Mack. <laughs> you want to know who Scotty Mack is? I suggest you check out eccw.com and look at the list of accomplishments that man has had. Facing such men as the Black Dragon, Overseas in Japan, one of the top superstars. I'll tell you right now, I will look forward to seeing you in Aaron Polo, but I'll tell you right now, I'm looking forward to seeing Polo and Scotty Mack coming up May 15th. And I'll tell you, these fans are in for a treat that night. This is your fault, isn't it? That's them. Hey, Bo, He's from okay. Canada. He's from Canada. I would suggest, Sandra, that you are here on the 15th because then you can scout out both Scotty Mac and Aaron Bolo and figure out who you best want to face in that first matchup. But for now, your fearless new champion, Aaron Bolo! To face off against Scotty Mac, May 15th, is part of Battle of the Mets.
that him and Aaron Bolo are on the same level. Mike Sayaga is officially the number one contender for the DOA Pure title. I should be having the match May 15th. But, as always, the politics and professional wrestling screw Mike Santiago. The title shot's going to some guy, Scotty Yak, Scotty Mac, Smack, whatever, I'll smack his face. Scotty, I have respect for you, but I'll never fear you. I'll never fear you. So, May 15th, University Park Community Center, Mike Santiago will be sitting there watching Scotty Mac versus Aaron Bowler. I'll be studying, and I will be prepared to take on whoever wins that match and beat them in the ring. One, two, three. Believe it. <laughs> All you people out of TV land, in just a few minutes, in just a few short minutes, you're going to see Jason Sullivan and Bishop take on Exile and Dr. Cleaver. You know, they've been on one hell of a roll since last September. What the hell? Oh, oh, <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. Unprofessional. What just happened? Rookie. Anyway, speaking of crap, Exile, Dr. Cleaver, you know, boys, you've been on a hell of a roll since last September when you won the DOA Tag Team titles. But in just a few short minutes, you fat, gap tooth homeless bastards sitting at home watching us for free on television, you're going to see the greatest tag team in pro wrestling alive today. Jason Sullivan, Big Bish. <laughs> Boys, polish up your belts. They're coming home to the elite. <laughs> Time's up, bad company. Time's up. Tick. Tick. Tick.
pick you up right here, Dad. Can you squeeze those together for me? Come on. It's been a while since we had the three of us on the table together. <laughs>
By the way, a reminder, check out DOAProWrestling.com and Facebook.com forward slash DOA Pro Wrestling to get you up-to-date information on DOA Pro Wrestling. Also, you can pick up all past shows, matches, promos on YouTube.com forward slash DOA Pro Wrestling. There's a move right there by Cleaver. Makes the tag to Exile. Big Man Exile comes in the ring. I tagged tag with Cleaver for almost two years. I don't remember ever seeing one cross body. Well, guess what? You know, he's been he's been uh, he's been washing his side, he's been training harder, Exile's been elevating him, they've been elevating each other. Cleaver's taking it to a, to a different level. A level you couldn't take him to, Jesus. I'm sorry. Uh, Bishop getting fanned there by Sweetser. In comes the big man, Sullivan. Oh, Cleaver and Exile having fun in the corner. Jay, there's not many people that can outweigh Exile, but Sullivan is one of those okay, rare three. Here he goes. Not many people can stand up to chase him. I know. On, on, the, on the downside, nobody's gonna get nose to nose with Jason because he is, you know, there's about six or eight inches in front Look of Look at that! You Did you see right? that? <laughs> Jason went into him and Exile just stood tall. Here comes Exile. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Exile, maybe not, not taking Jason so seriously. I mean, you gotta wonder though, I think both of them are taking each other seriously. It's just, I don't think they were quite expecting what they're getting. Exile. Five minutes gone by, five minutes. I think Exile's having a little fun. Cross oh, body, another oh, one. Cross body from Exile. Amazing, unbelievable. If I see Exile do a drop kick, I'm leaving. Oh, you might see a drop kick. Oh, please don't leave. You might see a suicide dive. There's anything possible in this match up here. G shot. Exile has been known for a suicide dive, and it, it might have been three, four years. Ooh, double shoulder tackle takes him down. Man, Jason Sullivan. When he hits the ground, you can feel the quicker. It was like the earthquakes in Portland not too long ago. My goodness, it's like they just made a new one. Definitely making the ground move. Jason Sullivan just kind of recoup a little, little staggered. That is sweet stir. Well, how is it DeMarcus has the fastest kind of planet Earth and Bradley Newton has the slowest kind? Oh, I knew I recognized the ref. DeMarcus James. Yeah, yeah, he's cousin, he's cousin to Damon James. Your cousins? I believe so. That's news to me. All right. I don't know if that explains anything, though. Well, enough of that. Let's move on to the fact that Jason Sullivan just got trounced out of the ring there. Are they are they Kip James' nephew or are they related to Kip James at all? They're, they're just, I think they might be. Marcus might be adopted, but I don't know. He might be. Oh, well, let's drive up. From let's worry about other family trees later. It's Cleaver right now working over Sullivan. And Sullivan getting rocked just a minute ago. Now being rocked again by Cleaver. Big elbow. Woo! Man, Jason hit hard. He needs to tag out the toe because once you get the big guy off his feet and he starts rocking like the toe, Jason with some dirty tricks. Yeah, it works right there, raking in the eyes, asking for the boot. Oh, Bishop Here it comes. Man, he ate that boot. That's a size 13 or 14 boot right in the mush there, Cleaver. Cleaver's in trouble because you got a, a fresh co bishop in there, man. Absolutely. And Exile can do nothing. He's powerless. Oh. Forearm smash there. Bishop shoulder tackle. Takes Cleaver right into the buckle there. Looking over the ribs there. I mean. Here's the worst part it's not a tag team that he's having to referee a matchup, he's having to referee. Six guys in there with two men in each team, plus Sweetser and Grant. I mean, right there. I mean, I don't know why these guys are out here at ringside. The Cleveland man, he's having trouble breathing. I mean, I felt those shots in the wrist before, man. Here they come right now as Bishop sets it up. He's very big. and he takes him down. Oh my Jason God! Sullivan just stamp, looking at him, stalking him, setting him up. Oh, drops the elbow! I'll tell you those ribs are Cleveland right now. Here, the tag your partner Exile. He's right there. Ah, uh, but you gotta have your feet on the mat when you make the tag. Uh, and you do. When Jason Sullivan and anyone that size get the ring, the ring is so small. Oh, oh, to the outside. Oh, I think Cleaver hit his ribs on the apron there, man. He certainly did. Oh, you can that. see, breathing in pain there on the floor. But look at this. Now, wait a second here. Brings in Exile. What's going on? Well, that's leaving him an opportunity. Wait a second here. Exile's going to blow his temper get ahead of him. Oh, oh wait a second. The elite we're looking for. Marcus James, holding it down. Sullivan now outside of the floor. Axe handle. What do you think of Marcus James, the rap? G-Shot? 
I was just commenting, just thinking about the holding it down comment. <laughs> Sullivan now sets him up. Oh, big oh. shot! My God, I swear that went right through him. I believe that's a not sexy shot. Oh boy, I tell you that. Marcus James uh, Watson taking it all in. The good official does. Well, you see now Bishop getting the ire up there of the exile. There we go, finally, the Marcus. Rob Mays is looking this. The opening here for Sullivan is all he needs. Oh, but Cleaver stops him. Ooh, another elbow. Oh, a takedown! Greg Hall! To the delight of the fans! Oh, man! Brett got nailed! Oh! Oh, by Sullivan! Paper distracted. Well, I think Grant is out! I think Cleaver just knocked him out! That's cold! Out cold! He is out like a light. Hey, Terry, you might want to check on him. Oh, he's breathing, so I guess he's alive. He's not awake, He's though. not kicking, but he's alive. Kevin Brand, not awake. Ten minutes gone by. Ten minutes. Oh, almost. He's just right through there. Kevin Brand's pocket. Did you see that, Jay Sharman? What is yeah, this man doing? That's how people in the... Trying to raid his body of, of items here. Yeah. Someone's trying to steal his shoes. And, and Michael Sweeter is not taking anything from Kevin Brand. Have you seen that gold watch that Michael Sweeter's wearing? That is a gold Rolex. That is a nine thousand dollar watch. Who did he steal that from? Well, complacent cover there by Bishop. There on Cleaver's not going to get the job done. Cleaver to his feet. Big mistake when Cleaver get to his feet. Well, Brent's getting out of here barely. Bishop, oh, you see form. that shot there? Huge oh. form. Bishop, man. Here we go, Cleaver off the ropes. There we oh. go. Oh. Big spine buster right there. Two. That's all. Uh, if only he would have hooked the legs, maybe. You're right, you're right. The legs. Oh, I am right. The two. Thank you. Tag made, Bishop to Sullivan. Sullivan now in. Big but Jason Cleaver. Sullivan. Oh, man. They desperately need to get XL in there. Oh. oh. Leg drop across know. the chest there. Cleaver is having difficulty breathing. One, two. Well, you, the, you were talking about the ribs earlier there, yes. and that leg drop right there just compounds the situation. It help matters at all. Sullivan now picks up Cleaver. The DOA Tag Team Championship on the line as Cleaver in exile. Oh, oh watch out that tag rope. Pull now, up. wait a second. Here we go. Bishop using the tag rope. They are working on cutting off the air with Cleaver. Referee and see it. Look, it's not bad. She's going to well look at the Marcus James way of ref. And if you don't want to get you know, in anybody's way. Tag made by Sullivan. In comes Bishop. Oh my. He's going upstairs. This could be bad news for bad company right now. As Bishop on the second rope. Big move here. Leg drop. That's it. That's It's over. I might have broke the ring. The XL coming in. Oh, the poor Bishop not hooking the leg. The question I got to ask you is that while XL may have broken up the fall, how much more can Cleaver take of this abuse from these two? Cleaver's getting to his feet. Cleaver to his feet. But he's about ready to find the deck again. Oh! Oh, wait a minute, stop He landed on his feet. Oh, and he had it in him. Double clothesline by the good doctor. The crowd goes nutty. The question is, has he used the last bit of gas in the tank? He's got to get over to exile and make that tag. And he's in the farthest corner away. I tell you right now, Exile waiting for that tag. Desperate for that tag. Commission Ben Sullivan trying to figure out where they're at. Cleaver trying to get to the corner. Can he make the tag? He makes the tag and we go! Nails Nails Bishop! Exile looks around. Grabs all this. Oh my! Oh! Hitting him with a big swing neck break. Oh, the big. Big that was indeed exile though. I tell you, Bishop right now, I don't think he knows where he's at. Chase oh, that to the floor. To the floor. Wait, Bishop is, I don't know if he's tagged, but well, exile doesn't really care. He's not going to go Bishop anyway. Tag me oh, into Cleaver. I don't know if I like this tag though. The Martin Stevens doesn't even know what's going on. With the tag, number one. Oh. No, wait a second. 
He pulls the referee out. Ooh. DeMarcus just got hammered by Sullivan. Well, I guess the match continues. But wait a second, that's an automatic DQ. Only if the referee We don't have a referee, though. Oh, exile. Close line on Sullivan to the floor. Off the apron, flying clothesline. <coughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, Bobby Spiker trying to get a new ref out here. Tag me. My goodness, it's just tagging each other right now. A new ref right now. Bishop right now, oh, he's going for the Bishop Bomb. Big Bishop Bomb, if he hits this one, if the ref comes out, no. Backdrop by Cleaver. This is Sullivan, keep an eye on Sullivan. Sullivan right now on the floor. Keep an eye on Sweetster. Coming back in, Sweetster's Cleaver. Not doing anything. Oh, he's plotting, Sweetster's plotting. Well, here we go, Cleaver trading shots with Bishop. Big Doc Cleave, Big Doc Cleave, here's another ref. Here we go. Bronco Young. Bronco Young in the Oh, thanks for coming, but man, take that. Whoops, says Cleaver. Hey, and like I said, you can't call a DQ if you don't have a referee. We don't hey. have a referee. And the match continues. Exile and Sullivan to the floor. And Bradley Lubitz. There's another ref. What? There's a ref. Bradley calls I want you to ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, Bradley Lubitsch has declared this match a double disqualification, no contest. Seen two weeks 
In Gainesville, Texas, we take on the best the world has to offer. And tonight, I've gained a little confidence because I've already seen some of the best. Cole Bishop and Sullivan, they may not be the best, seeing how we walked out with these titles, but they are in the top tier. And in the gym, oh, that's, that's sexy. That's that sexy right there. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, you took it to us tonight, Cole. You took it to us tonight, Sullivan. Sullivan, you've been putting your nose in my business for far too long, Sullivan. So this time, next month, May 15th, after we get back from Texas, one of us is going to be crowned the true indie champion of all the country. But next month, May 15th, it's a Texas tornado match. That means no disqualifications, no tags, all four men in the ring, there must be a winner. And you know what? My diagnosis is victory for bad company. The green machine here and myself, the lean, mean love machine, are going to take it to you, and we're going to come out victorious. Finish it off. That's sexy.